Hey Vikes, I'm Lexi, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Jessica caught up with Mr. Soccer to see how the theater department is handling this new continuous learning plan. Hi, Vikes. I'm here with Mr. Stauffer to talk about the theater department. Mr. Stauffer, this year's musical was supposed to be Into the Woods. What are your plans for the musical? Um, we're still trying to do something with the musical. We're seeing what the cast would like to do. If it would be um, just like a Google uh, Hangouts time or if we all get together. The problem is it, if we get together, it won't be till like June because the school will be closed until the end of May. So we'd like to do something. We're still kind of in the planning stages. So we'd like to do something with it to show off all the hard work that our kids have been doing. Okay, um, what do you recommend the kids in theater do during this time to stay involved and motivated? Uh, my officers have been uh, doing little activities and posting it on our social media. So there's a bingo card that you can do and look at and show your experiences. And then, uh, there's lots of free resources out there, plays you could read and musicals and shows that you could watch on YouTube and Andrew Lloyd Webber is posting his shows for free. So there's lots of stuff to do out there for theater and keeping involved. Do you have plans for continuous learning regarding the theater? Yes, in my intro to theater class, we're doing a tech theater unit, and so they have been researching costumes and making costumes on themselves. They're going to be using tools at their own house, and um, my players, we've been getting together every Thursday to do improv on Google Hangouts, and we've been writing down and trying to make a book of all our games. So um, we've been doing lots of stuff online. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, even though school is shut down and uh, stuff's still happening and still watch out for Seaman Theater and getting involved uh, next year. And we're still planning stuff, still doing things, um, even though we uh, don't have a big presence. So um, check in with your friends every once in a while because I know we all get stir crazy. Um, but as it's into the woods says, you are not alone. No one is alone. So thank you. All right, thank you. Hopefully the musical can still happen in some way. Now for your daily announcements. At this time, gatherings in the SHS parking lot or on school grounds are not welcome. Sophomores, if you want to join the Viking Crew Mentor Program, there's an application posted on your Schoology page. Prom and graduation are still happening. The dates and times for these events have been posted on Schoology. Grab and go lunches are still available at Seaman Middle School for drive through only. Driver's Ed enrollment is happening now. Check Schoology for more information. Now over to Weather with Zoe after this quick commercial break. If you're planning to enroll in Driver's Ed this summer, enrollment is one month only. The cost is $175. You must be at least 14 years old and a Seaman High School student. You do not need your learning permit to join. Classes will start Monday, June 1st, and will go until the 19th. To register for Driver's Ed, go to the Seaman webpage and click on Driver's Ed. Cost is $175. If you have questions, see Mr. Tinsley. See you there, Vikes.
Saturnia Vikings. Our temperatures are going to continue to fluctuate for the next couple of weeks, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. As you can see, by Friday early, early morning, we are expecting a little bit of snow and rain mixture. Now, this is not going to be so much that our roads are going to be covered and we will not be able to drive. For your SVTV seven day forecast, like I said earlier, we will be reaching down into the 40s in the next couple of days. And then reaching clear back up into the 70s by Monday. Now back to your anchors. Kaisen talked to some teachers to see what they are doing in their spare time. What am I doing to stay busy? Um, well, personally, I've been doing a lot. I have refinished two dressers and a coffee table. I've been on a lot of walks. I've also had time to finish a scrapbook for my daughter from her wedding this last summer. Um, now, if I could just get to see her, that would be even better. What am I going to do when this is all over? I hope the first thing I'm going to do is get to see some of you guys um, and see people again and be able to run up and give some of you a hug and go watch some sporting events that you're in. Just enjoy being around people again. Uh, personally though, ladies, you might understand, I really, really, really want to go to the nail salon and get a manicure and a pedicure as soon as absolutely possible. Hey there, talking to you from my dining room. It's about 11 o'clock at night, which tells you that my schedule is completely screwed up. Um, keeping myself busy, uh, my kids. I got a third grader and a first grader and then a two-year-old at home. And finally, my wife is now staying at home. It's, it's tough. It's, I'd, I'd rather be at work. It's less work for me. What is the first thing I'll do when all of this is over? Probably go to a sports game. Man, I miss sports so bad right now. I don't know what to watch on TV at home. Actually, no, I know the first thing I'll do. It's a haircut. This is insane. This is terrible. But yeah, I need a haircut. Even bald guys need haircuts. So that's what I'll do first. Some sports games and a haircut. Those are some good ways to spend their time. That's all for today, Vikes. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, this chill.